Hello and welcome to Fallout New Vegas. Doing where I la left off yesterday, or last episode. We're now, now in Novak, and we have to go figure out what's going on at the Repcon headquarters. Now, I'm currently thirsty, so let's just use up some water first. Let's do dirty water. 93 H2O. Rasparilla is half that. So, I think we've got Feral Ghouls up there, if I remember correctly. Another Sassarapurilla. I wonder if I can get that anywhere here in Ireland. Ah, uh, minor side there. Anyway. Let's go see if I can find it. That gun. Black option. Okay. Oh, for I have no idea why it jerked upwards like that, unless I did that. It's New Vegas. They're always useful to have around. My aim is awful. I mean, gee, the lack of mag for this thing is not going to help. I also probably don't have the strength to hold it, do I? No, I need six strength. Really need an expanded mag for this thing. And it's just a little lower than I would like. Oh, achievement. Oh, I've shot 75 things with guns. Hmm. Five five six runs would be useful for that gun. Hmm. Well, then it's useful for thing. Thanks, boys. Selling off. Those are rebar. Or do anything else? Let me drink. Try and get my. Ooh. Night kit. Charger rifle. This gun's in the game. A 
to inspire him back, of course. Use these frags because probably weapons. Get rid of this and with the rifle. It's just a bot, an entry level gun. Don't More of your Perfect. Hey, over here. Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Who are you? Has nobody heard that? Over on the east.
think they've I'm here. That did not go the way I'd planned it to. Doing any losing until I've made sure there's nothing here. I'm really up too much on edge here. I'm trying to wonder if I should bother with all this stealthiness. I'm having way better results if I go for their legs. Or recharge yourself. Not much use, but I can at least sell it off afterwards. Hey, let's see who this is. God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Where can I find Jason? The great one can be found upstairs. Don't think about wasting his time. He's very important. You should feel lucky to be granted some of his time. forgive us our humble surroundings our true home awaits us in the far beyond have you come to help us complete the great journey uh, who are you i am jason bright the prophet of the great journey all the ghouls you see here are members of my flock great journey we wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Tell me more about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. 
they set upon us as we were on our way to worship on Mari. We had just entered the basin. Mm. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost, nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Say one of the demons raved at you. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Take care of them. <laughs> Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Energy cells. Hey, go bother Jason. So I start using those uh stealth boys I've been using. Like there's night killer and I do not The reason I'm heading this way is to try and get something that will allow me to resolve this whole thing peacefully. Jail key. Now to waste. That guy goes past. There's another stealth boy. Probably see the up there. Okay, now it's just wait a little bit longer.
surprised they don't actually see the door open. Well, certainly is possible to fight my way through this but I don't want to if I don't have to what's that antler a rebel visitor an assassin more like I say kill it antler for safe sake hmm okay antler I'll ask uh hi human why you come here? You're right. It's a bit strange. I am in command of my faculties, in command of my troops. Antler guides me in all things, as I in turn guide my king. I come here on behalf of the ghouls upstairs. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told him stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyway. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. The ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Maybe I can help. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right, a, a piece of paper, shipment invoice, hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room, one we don't search yet, the one we can't search. Why can't you search that last room? A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I locked the door to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then, you come along. Antler says you are solution. I'll find the stockpile well for you if your kin will leave this place. Deal? Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Well, nope. not like we have anything to lose, either of us. Not a stealth boy. Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I give you a hand. I do thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. I'm looking for a stash of stealth boys in this room. A stash of stealth boys? Are you kidding me? If there was some big stash of devices in here, and made you invisible? Do you really think we'd be having this conversation? No. So how did you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. 
I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room and set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. How can I help you get out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Uh, unfortunately, I... I did find her. I see. Spare me the details. God damn. She had the yellowest smile. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Go ahead and root around up here if you want. I'm going to make a break for topside. That was stupid. Nice. Yep, yeah, and we have nothing that can clear this except me. Hard roads me. Shipment mistake. Huh. So there were stealth boys delivered. Workplace misbehavior. course somebody used them to harass or assault somebody else that's in Let's see if I can persuade this gentleman that he's looking for isn't here. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Bad news, news captain. No stockpile here. Liar! The invoice said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. Turns out they were actually sent here by mistake, then sent back. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? But Antler, but no one could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. You're a lucky day, human. Antler, believe you, Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Let her be then. Safe travels. Damn, I just think I it changed screens. There's and explain what's going on.
There's... Is the way clear? Demons are gone. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. I'm going to skip ahead to that part. What is missing? So after... After four or five crashes, because you Vegas, now I've got down here. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of this humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You will redeem us both. So you're going to leave Chris behind. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. He really pulled the wool over his eyes. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris. But it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. So are you going to seriously make this great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Are these surface-to-surface -surface rockets or will they launch you into orbit? Right. Bye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. So the Great Journey will use these rockets? nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Do you do here? I'm the flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the great journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Why don't they let you work down the launch pad? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. Actually, radiation down there would kill you. Human. You just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversum. 
She likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversome. You're neurotic. You left your vault because you were going bold? Bold? You call this bold, Smoothskin? I'm a monster. A monster! You wouldn't trust me. I see your ploy, Smoothskin. I won't fall for your trap. You can plainly see that I'm a ghoul myself. You can't turn me against my flock. Alright, how can I help then? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. All right, I'll track down the thrust control modules. Where I should look. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up, if they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. All right, I'll get going then. Do I want to? After his illusions, probably because good for him if I do. Long run. Oh, for Christ's sake! Forgot about these fellas. Ghouls probably won't be happy about this. Right. I'm gonna head back to Novak. Then I'm gonna call this episode here because I've had the game crash on me several times in a row. Not something I want to deal with too much of. But that's gonna be it for this episode. Well, the next one I will continue with this quest and then you see about getting Boone on my side. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.